gosh, look at that. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we have something super exciting. We're doing a review. If you want to see the review on Patrick Ta's Major Dimension Eyeshadow Palette, then that's what we are going over today. So if you're new here, my name is Sarah, and if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much. I love you so much from the bottom of my heart. We have a new video every Wednesday. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So let's just get straight into it. Patrick Ta, who is Patrick Ta? He is a he's American makeup artist, and he is just so phenomenal. I have always loved his work. I've always looked up to him, and he's just, he's amazing. He's Shay Mitchell, Gigi Hadid. He's just an amazing makeup artist. And if you know anything about me, then you know that I'm also a makeup artist and I always say this and I will stick by it. I think makeup artists come out with the best makeup because I feel like you really truly understand makeup when you've worked on so many faces and it's your job. You just know what works, you know what's missing, you know what the game is missing. So I already have everything done, nailed. So we are really just going to strictly review the palette and do a demo, of course. So the packaging is the typical rose gold packaging. So pretty, it's just like his major sculpt. So all of his packaging is like this. This is the only other thing I have from Patrick Ta, major sculpt, which is his cream and powder contour component which I really love. This is mine right here. This is actually for my makeup kit. I am a huge, huge fan. This is the first thing I tried from Patrick Ta and I was immediately astonished by it. Completely in love. I think it's the best cream contour I've ever used. I think I love the cream contour more than the powder bronzer but together as a pair. Phenomenal. I love them just so amazing so I have super high hopes for the palette so as you can see the packaging is the same it is so pretty so luxe so elegant so elevated so bougie um, but I will say in my messy kit it does get dirty easily so you know it's pretty when you open it but other than that it's gonna get dirty it's gonna have fingerprints all over it I love packaging I am a sucker for packaging and it's just really nice to like have something nice, you know, like you want it to look good. So look how beautiful. Don't look at anything else. Hopefully it's really hard to get the fingerprints off. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It has a very large mirror. If you saw, I love a palette that has a mirror just in case you're out getting ready somewhere. It's just always good to have a mirror in the palette. I'm a huge fan of that. One thing that I love about this, I haven't seen it in any eyeshadow palettes that I own, but is this cream component. So not only is there powder eyeshadows, there's also cream. I am a fan. I love that everything of his has like a powder and a cream component to it because I feel like that's so important in makeup and you really understand that as a makeup artist is the layering effect it makes makeup so much more long lasting long wearing and it just pulls color really well so whenever i do makeup i like to layer cream and powder so he does an amazing job at incorporating that and you know giving the people the consumers a taste of it as well so creamy super creamy super deep and they're not too Thick. So it's just really good to have creams that are not too creamy or emollient. Otherwise, it's just going to dissolve. It's going to be really hard for it to stick. So they definitely do not seem like that, which is great. And then we also have um, a couple different type of formulas here. Obviously, we have the cream shades here. And then we have four matte shades here. So these are all matte. This is a shimmer shadow. This is a shimmer shadow. This shadow right here, which is matte, but with glitter in it. And then we have three topper shadows. So topper eyeshadows, I love topper eyeshadows. I like that they're included in here. Um, I think I would have rather 
had seen one more shimmer shadow and then one less topper shadow, but all good. Topper shadows are best used with your finger. They come out the best that way. Going to swatch. Here are the matte shades. Everything went on super, super easy. So I'm just thinking they're gonna be very easy to blend. Um, and now I'm gonna try the shimmer shadows and the one matte shadow with glitter. Yeah, it's a very interesting color. These typically work best with your finger. Your finger kind of like warms it up and really gets the pigment to open up. So here are the choppers. So today I am going to try to use as many of the colors as possible and I feel like the best way to achieve that is to do some sort of like halo eye. So that is what we're gonna do today. So buckle up and get ready we're about to we're gonna do the thing of course i'm going to go in with the cream first to start to get a shape going and i'm just gonna dip into the lighter cream shadow and i'm gonna put it right out here wow can you say pigment because that was just too easy and i want my halo eye to be in a cat eye direction wow I love it. It doesn't even seem like a cream, which I love. It's going to be very, you see that with my finger, how easy that was? It's just going to blend really easily. So I'm going to put some in this pocket up here, kind of continuing my nose contour. Talk about the name of the palette, Major Dimension. And that is exactly what you're going to get here because of the toppers. Like I said, they add a lot of dimension, the colors as well. Everything is in the same family, but there's a lot of different depth of brown here so you can get so much dimension just with this palette even though everything may look kind of the same there's just so many levels of depth that you can get here in this palette which is amazing so honestly i don't really need to use the darker cream shadow but we will just for demonstration purposes just further adding depth here oh my gosh so easy to blend it's insane like look at all the dimension that's here already like we this is a look alone so if you don't even want to wear eyeshadow and you don't want it to look like you tried then the cream shadow is great we have a look here <laughs> do we not i think this is crazy i'm gonna go in this direction the lightest matte brown wow there is a lot of kickback when you pick up okay interesting color Definitely on the neutral side. It's always good to have neutral browns though. There was a period in time where all there was was warm browns. Neutral browns are very important. So easy to blend, to layer. Like this went full on super, super quick. We are doing a halo eye. I'm gonna go a little more right here with the cream just so we can have the same depth going on in here. And this stuff, isn't slippery doesn't move around so it's just overall very easy to apply and work with just gonna go in with another brown I'm gonna go into the next deepest brown and I'm just gonna layer it on top you just honestly don't need that much product I honestly still can't get over the cream shadow because all the blending happened with that cream shadow so you don't really have to worry too much about blending. So we're just going to keep deepening it and like I said I'm trying to use every single color in the palette. We're just going to go in with the next shade. This one's kind of like a reddish looking brown. Same brush just going on top. Everything sticks on top of that cream shadow so well. And it's just really easy to blend. I'm trying not to go too editorial here, but palette is kind of pricey. It's $68, but I know there's a lot of people out there that I'm calling myself out too. Do the same look all the time. Use the same colors all the time. So if that's you and you want something with a lot of range and dimension, then this palette is perfect for you. You know, use it every day for two months and you paid a dollar for that look each day. You know what I mean? That's like kind of like my logic with it. I think it is great and you're paying for his name. You know, he worked very hard in his industry. He knows a lot of tricks and secrets and how to get an amazing eye. So. There's a lot of knowledge in this 
palette. A lot of experience definitely showed. So kudos to him. Now I'm just taking the darkest shade with a little pencil brush. Honestly, everything is just blending really well. I don't really have to do much, but just place the shadows while that dark one is gorgeous. And honestly, this is a great palette for a makeup kit. Amazing palette for a makeup kit. I'm pretty sure that's also kind of like what he had in mind as well. Girl, this palette can be used for everyone because the shadows are just so easy to work with. There's so much depth here. Well, this is amazing. So now let's get to the fun stuff. Let's get to shimmer shadows. So I'm gonna put those with the brush and then I'm gonna do the topper with my finger. I'm gonna go in, yeah, with the lighter shimmer shadow. So I'm not sure why there's so much kickback, but it's totally fine. Whoa. Whew. Did you just see that? Cause whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Like the thing about these is you don't have to put, oh my God, that's pigmented. You don't have to put in a lot of work. Like all I did was set it on my eye and it did the damn thing. Like, you know, some shadows get to go over and over and over and blend. If you notice, I didn't really have to do that because it's just so smooth. It's like a thin formula, but it's just mm, mm, mm. very good. So I'm gonna go in with the darker shimmer shadow now because I wasn't expecting that shimmer shadow to be so light. And I'm just gonna go right outside of where I put the light shimmer shadow just to kind of blend it a little. Like I said, we're just gonna use every single color in the palette, but honestly to make, to do this look, you don't have to use every single color, but we are. <laughs> just for fun. I'm just gonna blend that into the lighter one because the lighter one is really, really light, which will be good for fair people. Look at this halo eye. This is like the easiest halo eye I've ever done. Okay, so let's get into these topper shades. I'm gonna go in with like that peachy one first. Pop it on with my finger. I feel like the light is not catching it and doing it justice. Oh my God, but it is a disco ball on my eye. Truly amazing. Look at that dimension. Can you see it? I'm gonna have to zoom in. I know you see that because I'm like really high. But anyways, the good thing about topper shades is that they don't really change the color. They just add more dimension because it's a thicker sparkle glitter. So you just get more of that like light reflex going on in topper shades. That's what they're really good for. So they're not the type of eyeshadows that you can just blend out with a brush. Like you don't want to use them like that so I'm just gonna go in with the even lighter one just in the very center of my lid only there we go with that bright it's so bright it's almost like white looking holy moly girl dang matte shade with the glitter because I felt like it's a really good medium tone shade and I'm just gonna use that in the middle crease Gonna, yep, I knew that color was gonna be good because it's kind of like warm peachy brown. Not red brown, but like a peachy brown. So it's just a really nice, almost like a bronzer. There we go, that kind of like tamed the eye a little bit, which it kind of needed. She kind of needed to like calm down a little. So overall, these look amazing. My eye looks amazing. And the thing is, it's not so much about the colors as it was the ease of using the colors. Like everything was just so easy to use so quick like results happened fast it didn't take a lot of effort because the eyeshadows just blend so 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 well the colors is the next best thing because of the range like i said and the depths of the colors so it could be used for so many people so this is for the everyday person for your everyday look and you could even switch up your everyday look with these colors but still have it be kind of like on the natural side um, a great palette to take with you on vacation or something when you just want to keep it neutral and again if you're a makeup artist this is equally as amazing for you because there's something for every skin tone in this palette i would say for sure especially like wedding gigs and i think he knew that i think he definitely knew that now let's just finish up by doing 
underneath the eye. And I'm gonna use like the second to last dark shade of the matte browns. And I'm just gonna go right underneath my eyelashes and like stamp it. Oh yeah, another thing is, I didn't notice any fallout. I'm looking now and no fallout. There's like kick back, but it definitely isn't causing any fallout when you use the product. Look at me, who am I? I'm gonna use the darkest shimmery shade. Okay, there's a little bit of fallout here. I should have tapped the brush first though. I just, I really love the depth of the deep, well, the depth, yeah, that's the word. I'm just trying not to say that word again. But I just really like the depth of that dark shimmer bronze shadow. It's really pretty. Okay, so final thoughts on the product, the palette, Pachata Major Dimension. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love it so much. I know it seems pricey at first, but I definitely respect the price. Um, and I'm honestly rooting for him, good for him. But I'm looking at it from his standpoint and him putting in the work to build this brand for himself, the years of work he had to do to build something like this. And you're not just paying for the product itself, you're paying for his knowledge, his experience, all his years worked to learn what the industry needs, what the consumer needs. So kudos to him I think it's absolutely worth it and it's just such a versatile product which I feel like may sound weird because it's just a neutrals palette but you can do so many things you can do everyday looks you can go glam you can go editorial and there's it's user-friendly for everyone from the consumer to the pros so I think that is amazing and also that is exactly why this is this cost as much as it cost so definitely keep that in mind for this product and he gave us beautiful packaging like I'm here for the beautiful packaging even though it gets fingerprints all over it I'm here for it I like having you know nice things so it's nice if you're gonna pay that kind of money uh, definitely the packaging <laughs> needs to be nice as well so I feel like it definitely fits the price and it's just beautiful it's such a beautiful palette I'm kind of sitting here wishing that I did this in studio lights so you guys could have seen its full potential, but I'm hoping in this natural light you guys can still see how pretty it is and also you got to witness how easy it was to work with, which was a major, a major plus, especially for beginners. Like the ease of this palette, the ease of use with this palette is top notch. So. Overall, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. I love it. I love everything about it. I think it looks amazing and I'm excited to try more of his products because I am two for two now. So thank you Patrick Ta and kudos to you for such a beautiful product and brand and empire. So that is it for today's video. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to review and if you guys have any thoughts on the palette let me know in the comments below and i will see you guys in my next video bye